Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black and I am so excited to give you a closer look at our newest collection called Love and Happiness. Now this collection is not just a Valentine collection, it is a love theme collection which you can use for pretty much any occasion, any time of year. So to start off, let me give you a look at our two new sentiment sets. And as you will see, these are great for friendship cards, for Valentines, for love, anniversary thinking of you. There's great sentiments you can use any time of the year and I recommend just hitting pause if you want to look at these closer and read them all. And here's a card with one of my favorites. The only lasting beauty is the beauty of the heart. And the next sentiment set coming up here, this one is the dream love sentiments. Again, some really fun sentiments. I'm so glad that you and me are us. You have you are and always have been my dream. You equals awesome, me equals lucky. And again, just hit pause if you want to take the time to really look at those and read those. They're great sentiments and you'll be seeing them throughout this video on all of the different card samples. Next, we'll get, get a closer look at our elegant and floral stamps that are a part of this collection. Now, these stamps are great if you are doing love theme cards, but man, you can really use these any time of the year. The first one here is 40-678 Rose Dance. This is a slapstick cling stamp with beautiful, beautiful details. The first card here, I've stamped it in a light memento ink. This is in, let me look here, desert sand memento ink under watercolor paper and painted in with some gouache paints and some watercolor paints. And then again, for a little different look, I've stamped this onto toned gray paper and colored it using colored pencils. So you can get really different look with different mediums with this stamp. Next up, we have another slapstick cling stamp. This is 40-729 Fresh Cut. I love the unique arrangement of these roses. For the first card here, you can see I've just stamped them down at the bottom of my card. It's really great. They're all in one stamp. They're arranged beautifully, and they're just stunning roses. Here, I've done them coming from the corners of the card and stamped my sentiment up a little bit higher in the center of the card. So just by playing around, with the arrangement you can get a lot of different looks. Now here is one of our brush stroke or silhouette style stamps. This is 40-741 Rosa and the next card you have already seen a little peek at this card in the beginning. This is a 5 by 7 card and I stamped this onto watercolor paper and then using that desert sand memento ink and then I painted right on top using um, Distress Ink Reinkers used as watercolors and gouache paints, and that is the same thing I did for the second card featuring that same stamp. Next up is one of our miniature 3 by 4 inch transparent sets. This is 30-790 Floral Heart. This one is such a happy stamp. I just love all the little floral designs within the stamp. And here I have just kept my card very simple and had fun painting this in. And I will have some how-to videos coming up soon showing my painting techniques as well as my sort of mix of gouache and Distress Ink Reinker palette. This is 30-795 Fresh Flowers, a gorgeous bouquet. Here I've colored it with alcohol-based markers. And here is 30-679 Blooms, a lot of variety of blooms, great for any type of card. Here I've used, I think I used all the blooms except for maybe one and stamped them in around the perimeter of my card and then painted them in. And here I have stamped and embossed these, heat embossed these in white and then painted it in. So you can get a lot of different looks just on your arrangements and the mediums that you use. Moving on, we will take a look at our cute critters. These are a great, great way to tell someone that you love them or you're thinking of them. This first set is 30-784 Heart Hedgies. These are so whimsical and cute. Their little noses are hearts. They have hearts as part of, I guess, would you say like their little spines on their backs? Um, but they're just such a cute little pair. And I've done a couple of cards with those and just cutting them out and adding them to my backgrounds. 
And then we have more cute critters. This is 30-794 hedgehogs. And these guys couldn't be cuter either. Look at that little cupid up in the right hand corner. I did a pair of very clean and simple cards with these, just bait, coloring them in with a very basic coloring and, and then adding them to a sponged or inked background. And here is another card that I've done using that same technique and just layering on a few die cut hearts. This is 30-789 Love and Happiness. Very versatile. Again, you've got the bunny, the bear, the cute furniture, the champagne glasses, great for anniversaries or weddings. Um, here's that little bunny looking up at one of those fun new sentiments that we have. Here are the bears that were from the champagne glass and I just added them to one of our new die cuts and I'll have more about that coming up in the video. And I just adore this little bear sitting on her chair. I think it is great for any occasion. Thinking of you, get well cards, Valentine's Day, any of those it would be great for. This set is 30-783 My Love. Super cute critters. Again, great for many occasions. I think this would be a fun graduation card or encouragement card as well as fun for Valentine's Day. I've kept things really simple. Follow the same layout here. Another one, you brighten my day. A very versatile and so cute. I just love those bunnies and the scene that are that is a part of that stamp. I love them so much I had to make two cards with them. So here is another card featuring that same stamp done in a completely different way and at different mediums. If you love teddy bears, then you will love this next set as much as me. This is 30-787 Roses for You, a miniature 3 by 4 inch transparent set. Here I've had a, added this little guy peeking out from our die cuts in the background there. And then I made a second card with him uh, standing there with his flowers and some other die cuts like our wood floors and um, floral die cuts by his feet as well as a die cut sentiment. This is 30-791 Rain or Shine and these bears are adorable. For this first card I've stamped them onto watercolor paper with Memento Desert Sand ink and painted them with Distress Ink reinkers and gouache paints to get that no line look. And then here they were stamped with Memento ink and to smooth cardstock and colored with alcohol based markers. Next up, along with our cute critters, we have a couple of feathered friends. These are the happiest birds. They just make me smile. This is 30-788, so tweet. And here is a card featuring those birds and a few little floral die cuts down at the bottom. Now all of the exact supplies used on each card will be shown on our blog with links um, in the coming weeks. So just look in the YouTube description box below for more on that. This is our perfect match transparent set. I love how those little birds are cuddling there in that very whimsical um, cage with the heart there. Now we have some stamps that are just all about sweet whimsy. And you'll know what I'm talking about with the sweet when you see this transparent set. This is 30-785 My Sweet. If you have a sweet tooth or you know someone who does, cards with this set are so fun to make. I actually made several cards with this set. Here is just a very simple card um, with the image stamped in the middle and painted in and just a white on white die cut border. Here I cover the entire card. This is a one layer card um, with different images from the set and then painted and colored those in. And then back to another clean and simple card with just one of the images and some extra hearts stamped around it. So you can do lots of different things. Oh, and I forgot, I saved one of those cones there and added it to one of our new die cuts. And again, more on that coming up here in just a second. For some more whimsy, this is 30-796 My Universe. This set has some really fun images as well as the perfect sentiments to match up with each of those. I've made a set of three cards featuring some of these images. I've done some coloring and some sponging and inking and painting on these. Um, focusing on just the main panel and keeping everything else just layered white on white and very simple. And you can see there those really great sentiments that go along with those images. Coming up next, 
I promised I'd be telling you a little bit more about those die cuts. We have a few new standalone die sets in this collection. Again, they're very versatile and can be used any time of the year for any occasion cards, especially this set. This is a must-have. This is 51-640 hexagon frames. And as you can see, this cuts these delicate, beautiful hexagon frames that you can use on many sizes of cards. This is a five and a half by five and a half inch card, but then here we go to a four and a quarter by a five and a half inch card. You can layer the frames together. You can offset them. You can use just one like I've done there. Here you can see I've just offset one to the right in a lighter blue color, so giving kind of a tone on tone look in the background. The possibilities are really endless with that die set. This is 51-646 Wagon Ride. The card I've made with it, I've added some flowers. So this would be a great way to send flowers to a loved one or a friend. Um, but you could also put critters inside of the wagon. Pretty much anything you can imagine you could go inside. And finally, this is 51-641 is coming. This is the funnest, cutest delivery van die set. You can see here are the cards I uh, shared with you earlier, but I had so much fun coming up with different ways, different critters, different things to add to this delivery van. And you can change up the color schemes to match whatever occasion or person that you are sending it to. I thank you so much for watching. For more details about this release, as well as links to all of the different ways that you can connect with Penny Black, please be sure to look down in the YouTube description box below. Thanks for watching.